hands. Because, you know, sometimes you just need a break. Sometimes you've got to get a change of scenery. Sometimes you just have to get away. And that's the time you hope somebody will tell you, get out of town! Yeah. And some of our guests on the show will hear that today and win a fabulous vacation. But first, before we meet those guests who really deserve to get away, I know this audience has been working hard for this show, applauding and standing and waiting in the studio for the show to begin. So I'm going to give you a chance to win some great prizes. Now, if you're going to go away on a vacation, most of the time you need a pair of shades, right? Who out here in the audience can show me a pair of sunglasses? First guy, stand up, please. All right, you have a pair of sunglasses. Well, you know what you're going to need if you get away? Sunglasses and a swimsuit gift certificate for you, okay? All right. One of, one of the most lovely vacation spots in the world has got to be our nation's capital. During cherry blossom season, when all the uh, trees start to bloom, they were gifts from the country of Japan. But of course, they're a fixture now in Washington, D.C. Who in this audience can sing? To me, the first 10 words of the national anthem. Who knows them? Who knows them? That's all? Who knows it? You know it? You going for it? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, stand up, please. The first, stand up, please. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, say, can you see? Five. Meow. By the dawn, Meow. by the dawn's early light. You've got it, okay. <laughs> You've won a round trip ticket to Washington, D.C. Right. <laughs> Hold on, folks. And tell them what? Where are you from? I'm from Baltimore, Maryland. Well, you'll be going home. <laughs> you know how pretty it is. All right, I've got a few more prizes to give away before we get to our guests. All right, who out here knows? I mean, you know we're in the state of New Jersey. That's where the show is filmed. That's where the studio is right now. But does anybody out here know the official name for the state of New Jersey? What state is it known as? What state? The Garden State. The Garden State is absolutely correct. <laughs> and my lovely assistant, Laura Selway, will step on out with a bouquet of flowers from the Garden State. Let's hear it. Give it, her. Give it right to her, Laura. Now, one last thing. Thank you, Laura. If you're going on a vacation, you need tickets to get away. You need the tickets for transportation to take the plane, to take the bus, to take the train. Who out here can show me? It doesn't have to be a travel ticket, but any kind of ticket. Who can show me any kind of ticket except a ticket to the Richard Bay Show? Could be a movie ticket. It could be. I saw your hand first, sir. What kind of ticket do you have? Bus ticket. You have right here New Jersey Transit, a two-zone ride. So we know what you've won? A bus ticket to Atlantic City. That's not bad, right? All right. Thank you very much. <laughs> I gave that to your, that, what's the matter? That's your husband? Give it to me too. Well, you know what I got for you? Here, I got a subway token. You can use that in New York, okay. All right, but our guests here today really deserve a much longer and much needed vacation than maybe just a day in Atlantic City. They really deserve to get away. And people have recommended them to us. Loved ones who say these people have sacrificed and worked hard for a family or for a husband or for a wife or for a children or for a girlfriend. And they all deserve to get out of town! Please! Let's meet our guest. My next guest really needs a vacation. She stood by her husband when he only had a 25% chance of living. She continued to work to support her family, and she still managed to take care of her grandson every single day. Please welcome Clarice. <laughs> Daryl, come on down. Daryl, you nominated her. You're her husband. Come on down. <laughs> My next guest is Carl. He works two jobs to support his family, hasn't a vacation, hasn't had a vacation, more or less. 
in about 15 years. Carl, your wife Kelly said you deserve a break more than anyone else she knows. Kelly, come on down. My next guest is Sherry. The day never ends for Sherry. She works like a dog. She comes home, she cares for her family, then she goes over to her parents' house to help them out. Sherry, it was your brother, John, who nominated you. John, come on down. Now, my, my next guest is Yvonne, and this is a very special day for her because it's her wedding anniversary today. She never had a real wedding or a honeymoon. She hasn't ever had a vacation or gone anywhere fun. Yvonne, your husband Daniel nominated you today. Daniel, step on down to the stage. And my next guest, my next guest has had a litany of sorrows and responsibilities, a mother that she has to take care for, a husband who had a quadruple bypass, and her daughter's baby going to work at the local grocery store five in the morning every single day. Diana, welcome to the stage. It was your daughter, Wendy, who said you deserved a vacation. Wendy, get out of that audience and come on down. And finally, my last guest almost had a cancel today. She's seven and a half months pregnant and she thought she was gonna have to rush to the hospital earlier. She's tired all the time. She doesn't get a chance to rest. Please welcome Tamisha. Tamisha, come on out. And your cousin Danny nominated you. He wants you to get out of town. Danny, get out of the audience and onto our set. One of these people will win a fabulous vacation. They all deserve it. They've all worked hard. They've all sacrificed. They all deserve a break. They all deserve to get out of town. But only one will make it by the end of the show. You'll find out who that is when we come back. Stay with us. Don't you get out of your seat, because we'll be right back. today because one of our guests will win a fabulous vacation and boy are they deserving. Daniel, you're the husband of Yvonne, uh, 27 years old. Today is a very special day for you guys. What is it? Yeah, it's our third year wedding anniversary. All yeah. Right. <laughs> Yvonne, it says here you never had a real wedding. You are actually married, but what happened to the wedding ceremony? <laughs> well, we were, we were at his foster's mother's house. We were at his foster mother's house, and it was on a farm. And I was wearing one of those little girl hats for Easter, you know, and, and I had a leopard dress on, and all the ducks were quacking. We had a couple dogs there. No and real that was family. the wedding? We couldn't say our well, wedding What about that? Where'd you go on the honeymoon? To the zoo? We didn't have one, Brett. We didn't have a honeymoon at all. Because we, you couldn't we, afford it at the time? No, we cleaned for our foster mother. Okay. That was our honeymoon. We had no honeymoon. You cleaned for your foster mother on your honeymoon? Yes. Well, maybe now you can get a really good break for the two of you. John, you're the uh, brother of Sherry. John, your sister never had a break in life. Why was that? What happened? She spent most of her time doing favors for me and other family members, and plus she has a friend that cannot see. She's blind. She's taking care of her family and all the other things above. She's a she really good-hearted soul. She didn't have any time soul. to have a honeymoon or anything. She's been married for a couple of years. Okay, she does so she take... She deserves a break this time. She does deserve a break. <laughs> Kelly, you're the, uh, you're the wife of Carl, and you think your husband uh, goes without to make sure that you and the children are happy. What sort of sacrifices does he make for you, and why does he deserve a vacation? Well, he works 60 hours a week. He yes. plays mother just as much as I do. Wow. And I was in an abusive relationship, and he took me out of that and gave me my life back. How long ago was that? I've been with him seven years, and we've been married four. Congratulations. <laughs> He works two jobs. 
Well, you've heard these other people really haven't had any kind of break in the seven years you guys have been together. How many vacations have you had in this? Never had one. No. You never had no. one vacation? No. no. Boy, you Coming here like... is the first time I've ever been out of state. Where are you from? Ohio. Ohio. Barberton, Ohio. Mm. Well, Ohio to you. Okay, <laughs> Daryl, you're the husband of Carice. Daryl, you had a, a very difficult time at one point in your life. What happened to you? Well, Richard, I uh, was very sick. I uh, had a 25% chance of living. Uh, my wife came to the hospital every day and night, went to work from the hospital, came back. She also takes care of my daughter, and my grandson lives with us. And uh, it's been very hard on her, and she hasn't had no time for herself. What was it like when you were in the hospital and you didn't know whether you would live or die? Oh, well, Rich, it was bad. I had one time I didn't even know who I was. Yeah. And uh, was she there? it wasn't for her. How often was she there? Every day. Every day. And, uh, you know, this woman is the greatest. And I'm telling you, there's no other woman better than her. And Carice, how long has it been since the two of you were away together and had a vacation? It's about 10 years. 10 years? You haven't had a break. That's right. Boy, you sound like you really deserve it as well. Wendy, we're talking about, um, uh, we're talking about your mother, right? Mm -hmm. And your mother is the one that really deserves a break. Why does your mother deserve this, this vacation? She, uh, she took me in when I was... Um... I'm sorry. Are you all right? What's the matter? She took me in when I was three months pregnant, when my boyfriend, fiance, threw me out. And she was there for you. And you want to be there for her today. I mean, I'm sure you want to hold your daughter. Go ahead, give her. Oh, she, she... Yeah, she's taking care of my grandmother, who's 82 with Alzheimer's. She's, she's nonstop. Now my stepfather had a quadruple bypass three years ago. And she was with him day and night. And then just, just this week, he was back in the hospital again for his heart and his lungs. She don't think about herself. She just does, does for everybody. She's and always I, doing, I, doing, doing. I know she works really hard, too, and right? And she works a full-time job. She, she leaves the house 5 in the morning. She don't get home till 3, 4. 5 in the morning, you have to get up to go to work. Yes, I do. You sound like a... I tell you what, if you don't win the vacation today, Sounds today like you have a great prize in your daughter anyway, right? Well, I'm very sorry. I know you want to turn. Go ahead. You can turn around and give her a hug. I know, sorry, because she loves you so much. <laughs> Okay, next, uh, Jamil and Tamisha. Uh, boy, I'm sorry. It's, it's Daryl and Tamisha. Yeah. I'm sorry, Daryl. I'm a little, I'm so, that story is so sad. I mean, I, it's really very moving. Um, she's never had a break either, right? No. What, she got pregnant what, what, young. How long has it been since she's been away on a vacation? She never had one. She never had one. What has been so rough about her endeavors over the last few years? Well, she got, she got married young, got pregnant young. She, she took care of her house and she's still young, everything. Took care of her husband. And she's been very good to you. Yeah. Well, you can give her a hug as well, because I know you're the one that nominated her. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I am, I'm really sorry to say this because all of you seem so deserving, uh, but there are really only four spaces in the games coming up on this show. So two of you will have to, two stories will have to leave. We do have prizes for you as well. But I'm going to ask our studio audience to applaud, please. From the stories you heard, who most deserves this vacation? <laughs> Well, it's kind of a tough call. 
You guys, I am sorry to tell you this. He sounds like such a great husband. <laughs> but we do have some consolation prizes for you, and I think that you guys as well, in terms of our in terms of our applause media. You guys will have consolation prizes for you too. The rest of the four of you, by the end of the show, one of you will be able to say, I'm going to get out of town. We'll be right back, stay with us. have had a rough time the last few years, but in a few moments, they'll be able to say, get out of town! And they'll be saying it with glee because they'll be going away somewhere on a fabulous vacation. But first, this, you know, is an apple. Now there is a city that is known as the Big Apple. Which city is known as the Big Apple? New York. New York, unfortunately, that is not the question that gets you the prize. The city's known as New York. It's known as the Big Apple today. But oh, I guess about, let's say, oh, over 400 years ago, it was known by another name. What was the original name of New York? Who knows? Here. What? New Amsterdam. New Amsterdam is right! <laughs> and you'll be able to go to New York, the Big Apple, with a 35 millimeter auto zoom Vivitar camera. Hold on to that, and we'll give you the camera at the end of the show. Originally, the Dutch city of New Amsterdam, a colony, taken over by the English and became New York. Okay, well now, New York has many, many, many fine cuisines in it. In fact, you can eat a, you can eat a meal from almost anywhere in the entire world in New York City. But before you, we have different kinds of foods that are identified with regions and cities and areas of the world. You are blindfolded right now because we want you to use your sense of taste in this particular game. You're going to taste the world. If you can identify the food that you're eating, that your friend or husband or wife is feeding you or, or mother, tell us that. If you identify it, you get one point. If you can tell us the region of the world or the place where it's from, you'll get a second point at the end of this segment. One of you will win a valuable prize and you'll have points that will lead you towards the point in the show where you can say, get out of town! Ready? Take a bite of our first tasty delicacy. Can you tell us what it is? If you can't, oh, you got it. All right, take it. Take it here, John. Bagel. It's a bagel. One point for you. What city? John, what city is known for bagels? Anybody else? All right, take it, Daryl. New York. New York is correct. The Big Apple, it's the Big Bagel. Move on to our next dish. All right, take a bite out of our next Taste of the country. I'll give you a hint. It's a city. It's an American city. And it's an American city that's known for this delicacy. All right, you've got it down there. Take it, Daniel. What, what is it? Philadelphia cheesesteak. You've got it! City and place. Philadelphia cheesesteak. Philly, I lived there for four years. One of my favorite places. And hey, uh, they have great, great. cheesesteaks down there. Next taste is right in front of you. Something a little sweeter. Tell us if you can identify what that thing is that you're tasting. There's a country... Daniel, once again, what Tastes are you eating? like a waffle. From where? New Hampshire. <laughs> All right, waffle, you get that point. What place is known for waffles? I'll give you a hint. It was introduced to America at the 1964 World's Fair as a delicacy with strawberries and whipped cream, and it is known as a, you've got it down there, Diana, uh, Wendy, go ahead. Belgium. Belgium is right. It's a Belgian waffle. All right, next up, we got something really sweet for your taste buds. Take a bite and tell me if you can identify. All right, once again, John, what are you eating? A uh, peach. A peach is right. And where are peaches from? 
All right, you've got you've got the peach taste, but Daryl, you hit that horn one more time. Peaches are known for what? What state is known for peaches? Georgia. Georgia is correct. A Georgia peach. All right. Our next puffy thing to eat. Go ahead, take a taste. It's very light and delicate. Man, John, you are you are smoking today, John. You are also eating. What are you eating? Croissant. Croissant is right. What country is known for croissants, John? <laughs> what country is known for its croissants? Uh, Can't take it. All right, Daniel, you got it. France. France is right. One point for each of you. All right. Now, the next thing up is something I love to eat. That's not exactly a hint since I like to eat everything. But take a taste of that and tell me. What are you, John? One more time. Pasta. Pasta is right. What country? Italy. Italy is right. Do you love to eat or what? <laughs> I didn't eat all day. <laughs> this guy is incredible. John, smoking up that table. All right, next plate up. All right, something again that is. John, you got it again, John. What is it? Orange. An orange from where? Florida. Wait a second, I saw Florida. somebody hit you. Wendy, you got it next. Florida is right. We'll give you the point. He's got the orange. Yeah, John, last thing. Go ahead. Next thing, I'm sorry. Take a taste of this and tell me if you know what it is. Hit your horn when you can. All right, who's got it? Daniel, go ahead. Sushi. Sushi from where? Japan. Japan is right. All right, we're tabulating up the scores right now. Let's tabulate those scores and eat the last thing. Go ahead, taste the last thing and tell me what it is. Who's got it? Did I hear a horn? Did I hear a, let me hear it again. All right, Daryl, I hear your horn. You guys are getting a little lazy when you get full. Daryl, what is it? Lobster. Lobster from where? Maine. Maine is right. All right, and as we tabulate these scores, I cannot believe that there's a tie for winner here. There is a tie for winner between John and, I'm sorry, Vinny, and Daniel. John and Daniel. Hold on, hold on, folks. Wait a second. Wait a second. Hold on. There's a tie here, so we got to break this tie. Hold on, you guys. Stand right there. Don't move. Don't anybody move yet. Let's bring everything right up here. There's no reason to panic. Everything right up here because you guys have you guys have killer taste buds. <laughs> killer taste buds. If this was the eating Olympics, you guys would be right ahead. <laughs> all right. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take all the three things that I have here and mix them together. And I want you to identify as many things, the one who identifies the most things on the plate. Here we go. Let's mix them all together. Is there anything else in a mix? No, that's it. All right, and a little bit of this. All right, pick it up and feed it to them. And the first one that can identify the three things that are on that plate. Who wants to take it? All right, John, what is it? Three things on the plate. Potato. Uh, Potato. Potato. Go, oh, wait a second. He, John's got it. What do you got, John? Potatoes one. Potatoes. Ah. Uh, uh, oh, the... You got the potato. On, Can you on. take it there? Can you take it, Daniel? Crab meat? Crab meat, you're close, but not exactly. There is potato there. There is seafood, but what is Lobster. it? Lobster. Lobster, but it's not exactly that. No, it's not. No, well, you know what? Crab. Crab. <laughs> no, it isn't. There's one more thing that you tasted. You didn't get it? No. All right, I'll tell you what, I'm going to have to give it to you then, John, because you at least got the potato. There was Idaho potato. There was New England clam chowder. And there was rice from China. John, take off your blindfolds. All of you can take off your blindfolds. Would you please take the box out from back there? Because you have won in this segment this wonderful prize. It's from around, you love to eat so much. Well, after you have a nice meal, 
I'm sure you want to sit down with a cup of espresso. It's not in here right now, but you have a DeLonghi's world-class pump-driven espresso cappuccino maker and accessories. Fine quality machine designed with high-performance technology for superior Italian espresso. It's a coffee lover's delight from DeLonghi. It's worth $382. Do you want to keep it, or do you want to take what's behind the door? Uh, I'll tell you, this is worth $382. An espresso maker. Since it's for her, what do you want? You want what's behind the door, or you want what's in the box? The door. The door. The door. Door. All right, they're going for what's behind the door. And what's behind the door is a Sanyo desktop three-in-one fax so you can fax your work and tell them you're leaving on vacation. It features a custom header printer, on-hook dialing, overseas transmission mode, more small office, home office. It works in all. It's from Sanyo, and it's worth $500. You made the right choice. And it's John's taste buds that pay for it. We'll be right back. Don't you get out of town. Sherman Helmsley, that's right. What's the name of the show? Jefferson. Where did it take place? <laughs> Go ahead. You remember where the Jeffersons live? We're moving on up to the east side. East side of what? Let's see, east side of New York. East side of New York is exactly right. All right. <laughs> Welcome back. Laverne and Shirley. Popular TV show uh, from some years back. Who can tell me where Laverne and Shirley lived? Who knows out here in the audience? Anybody? You know? Where do they live? Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Milwaukee, Wisconsin is correct. You get $50 to go out and have some beer with your buddies. Drink the beer that's made in Milwaukee. And here, take a picture of Laverne with you, too, as well. All right. Well, that's a young lady who certainly knows her TV shows. We're going to test your knowledge, not only of TV shows, but of this country. You'll have to match the celebrity with the city where his TV show took place. You'll get one point if you know the t name of the TV show, one point if you can take one of these flags and pin it in the city or the place or the region where the TV show took place. First picture, please. First picture, J Jerry Seinfeld, what's the name of the show? Seinfeld show. Seinfeld show. Where does it take place, Pitt? New York. Go ahead. No, you got to uh, no. stick it in there and then tell me where it is. Go ahead. New York. New York is correct. You got it, sir. <laughs> Next shot. Danny DeVito's his name. Right. The name of the show? Taxi. Taxi is correct. Where does the show New take place? New York. Go, go up there and stick it in. First, stick it in, then tell me. Go ahead. All right, you got it there. All right, next shot up, please. Bill Cosby, name of the show. The Cosby Show. All right, go show me where the Cosby Show took place. If you know it, you will in get New one York. point. Go stick it in where you think it took place. That is wrong, sir. And go ahead. No, that's all right. Take a step right back. Anybody else know where the Cosby Show took place on the TV series? No? It took place in Philadelphia. All right, next shot. Don Johnson, what's the show? All right, go up there. Where did it take place? Show me where it took place. Go ahead. Okay, go ahead. Step right back, please. Next shot. Robin Williams, name of the TV show? Mork and Mindy. Mork and Mindy, where did it take place? Go ahead, go stick it in the uh, board if you can tell me the city where it took place. Oh, um, Kansas. I no, no. Actually, we would, we would have accepted uh, two answers. The TV series took place in Denver, which is in Colorado. But we would have accepted this. He was also from the planet Orc. So you could have just thrown it any way you want to throw it. All right. Next one up. Uh, where, uh, the show is, that's John Travolta. What is the show? Saturday Night Fever. That's a movie. Who's got the show? Welcome back, Carter. The show Carter. is Welcome, Welcome Back, Carter. Carter. You've got it. Show me where Welcome Back, Carter took place, and you've got two points. Go ahead. Step right up there. 
Where did it take place? <laughs> you don't know where Welcome Back Hotter took place? I'll say New York. New York, Brooklyn, right. You're absolutely right. Go ahead, take a step right back. That's all right, I understand. It's okay, don't worry about it. Take a step right back. All right, Barbara Eden, I dream of, I dream of Jeannie, you've got it. Where did it take place? What part of the country? Come on. Who was she in love with? With, uh, California. Who was she in love with? Oh, the, uh, Captain Nelson. And where was Captain Nelson working? What was it? What did he do for a living? He worked for the uh, aerospace. That's what he was in. Uh, what? A space. Uh, yeah. Uh, and where do they take off from? From um, Florida. Florida. Florida's right. Step on back. <laughs> That's absolutely right. I'll give it to you. Oh boy. Sherman Helmsley. That's right. What's the name of the show? Jefferson. Where did it take place? <laughs> Go ahead. You remember where the Jeffersons live? We're moving on up to the east side. East side of what? Let's see. East side of New York. East side of New York is exactly right. All right. And I need our score immediately. The winner of this game. Go ahead. Our winner is. We had another tie. Daryl and Daniel. Okay, we had a tie. Let me see the next one up there. All right, that's Mary Tyler Moore. The name of the show was the Mary Tyler Moore Show. Tyler Moore, Quickly, sure. Daryl and who else? Daryl and Daniel. Okay, Daryl and Daniel. Daryl and Daniel. Mary Tyler Moore Show. She lived in what city? She was a TV station. What city was it? The first one to shout it out. We'll take the prize. Come on, you guys. Where did it take place? Midwestern city. Not California, that's wrong. Can't take it, can't break this tie. All right, I guess we'll just have to leave it as a tie and keep the prize back in the box. We're gonna take a break though, and we'll be back in your box, your TV set box, in just a moment. going somewhere new. But right now, you're going to take a trip all around the world. You're going to have to guess where you are. Now, we at home will be able to see where you are, but you cannot see because behind you will be shown different places around the world. We will give you clues, though. If you can guess where you are, shout it out for me. All right, first place. Let's take a trip. Where are you? Listen to the clues. When you hear that, what does that sound like? Bell? San Francisco. San Francisco, you've got it. Daryl. All right, on to the next city. Where are you now? Let's take a look. All right, listen closely to the clues. Oh. London. London, you've got it. On across the continent. Oh, here's a clue. We're crossing the channel now. Where are you now? Oh, France. yes. France. Where? France. Where in France? Italy. Not in Italy. <laughs> Where Rome. in... What? Rome. Rome, France? Paris. <laughs> Who said Paris? Paris. Paris? You got it. Okay, Paris. <laughs> All right. Where are you now? Okay. New York. City. Oh, New York City is right. You said but it could have been the state. She said New York City. Hold on, moving on. Where are you now? Oh, wow, someplace. Hawaii. Hawaii. Florida. Florida's not a city. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Well, who said Miami? You got it, okay. Florida's a state. And now, where are you now? Where are you now? California. California. Washington. What? Washington? No, listen closely. Can't tell where you are? One of you Rome? said it already. What? Rome? Rome is right! Exactly! They've taken a trip around the world. 
But one of our lucky contestants right here will be taking a trip somewhere soon because we know you need a break. Who is our winner in that segment? Diana. Diana? And Diana and Wendy. Okay, Wendy, can you reveal to her what is uh, what prize she's won? A pair of sunglasses. Okay, you've won Bushnell quality crafted sports glasses with case, an assortment featuring Ducks Unlimited with interchangeable lenses, and the Aviator with spring hinge design. 100% UV protection from Bushnell. Cash value for you. $313. Ever had a pair of sunglasses that expensive? No, That's no, incredible. Be careful with them. All right. I hope you're going to go somewhere where you can wear them. Somebody will. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back. This is a. our guests will take a trip somewhere in the world, but you're going to have the whole world in your hands for a moment at least because in front of you are globes. Then we're going to ask you to dribble all the way up to this sliding pond. You'll slide down that chute into that uh, uh, area, that pool of balls over there and look for a key, a key to the car so you can take a trip somewhere and prepare for your trip, okay? Are you ready to go? You've got to find the key in that pool, dribble the ball, the globe up to there, and then run out to the car. The first one out to the car wins. Ready, set, go! There they go. Up to the pod. And Darrell's pitch hitter is his wife, Carice. Darrell has a medical condition that precludes his playing this game. But Carice is giving it her all. And I guess they've all found a key except for... Except for John, who was so good at tasting the food. Where are they going? Wait, wait, wait. John. Should be another key in there somewhere. There's another key in there. Yeah, there you go. He finally found it. And they are out on their way to the car. All right. You were you got out there you got out there first. All right. Congratulations. You won this particular round. We'll be right back. stage one more time. Daniel and Chris, where, where the heck did you run during that last game? You ran into the control room. You were running the wrong way. And this is the man who has the best taste buds in the entire continent. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Best taste buds. This couple, today is your wedding anniversary. How yes, many years has it been? Three years. Three years. You never had the honeymoon. And this story, oh, sweetheart. Oh, you Thank know you. what? You know what? Oh, don't make me cry. You know what? Whatever the outcome is, you've got a prize. You've got a wonderful mom. Thank you. Give her a hug. Go ahead. But of course, for the last hour, we have played many games. We've shared a lot of laughs. We've shared, shed a few tears. But the judges have tabulated up all your scores. And if the lovely Laura Selway would please bring to me their final tabulations. Total scores, Daryl and Carice, 10 points. Sherry and John, 10 points. Daniel and Yvonne, 22 points. Diana and Wendy, eight points. The winner, it's your anniversary today. Daniel and Yvonne, you never had a honeymoon. You never had a vacation. But you'll be flying anywhere in the continental United States on Continental Airlines, valued at least $600 for the two of you to fly anywhere in the country. Congratulations!
congratulations to you because you deserve to get out of town. Time for us to get out of town. Thank you for joining us. From all of us here to all of you out there, as always, all my best. And congratulations to all of you.